Hey guys, Mitch here. Um, I thought it'd be fun if I show you guys um, what it's like living in a day um, being a landlord. So um, right now it's um, like 10 o'clock. I'm going to go meet some potential new tenants in one of my new houses. And then um, I'm just gonna be running around like getting stuff fixed for the house. And I'm just gonna take you guys with me and uh, show you what it's like getting a house ready for some new So I just met with some potential renters and showed them um, my house in Sacramento. They're all pretty nice people. It's just like really tiring because I'm trying to remember everything that I need to say um, about like renting the house and policies and all that kind of stuff. And then, um, also you know be nice and energetic and friendly and it's just like very tiring like repeating myself over and over so stopped at Starbucks for like some liquid um, energy I'm getting pretty tired now I am on my way to Lowe's to buy a new fridge for my house and then I'm gonna email some more people to set up some more appointments for them to come see the house um, because some of the people who were like, oh, we want to apply, they just like emailed me this morning. We're like, oh, we, we decided we want to look at other houses. I'm like, darn it. So I just got to Lowe's and going in to buy a fridge. So I just got done at Lowe's buying a fridge. I like went in there. I was there yesterday. I was trying to get one, but I measured my space again and it was like really deep. Like what do people need with a fridge that's like 40 inches deep and like 36 inches across? This is like huge massive fridge like the house has like a big enough space for like a 36 inch counter depth fridge was like two thousand five hundred dollars I was like no that's way too expensive um, so I got out of there I found a nice one that's gonna fit in there you know energy efficient stainless steel um, everything like the ice maker and everything is like eight nine hundred dollars I think it's like eight hundred and sixty six dollars um, it's just like your normal old, you know, fridge, freezer on top, um, fridge on the bottom. So, um, that should fit pretty nice in my new house and hopefully my renters will like that stainless steel and it matches all the other appliances. Um, I'll show, uh, show up some pictures of like what the house looks like. And now we're going to Bed Bath & Beyond because I need a new bathroom scale. Yay! So I guess that's personal. It's not really um, for my business. But after that, I'm going to drive back to San Francisco and call the electrician to fix some stuff. And just keep it moving. Hopefully I can um, uh, look over some applications and maybe one of these people will be great new tenants for my house. Yay! Hey guys, so as I was coming home from um, Sacramento, like fixing my house the other day, um, I actually stopped for dinner in Oakland. That was a huge mistake. <laughs> and um, my car got broken into. And they stole like my laptop and my camera and like a bunch of my medication. So um, I'm just going to be filming on my phone for a while. But it just really sucks because I had a bunch of like videos on there about my weight loss. Um, I wanted to do like a progression video. Um, and so they took all my footage of like my before photos, my before footage um, of my weight loss. I'm just really upset about that because... Um, they also stole my homework, which it was, it's finals week this week for me. And so now I'm like redoing a lot of my homework and I don't have a lot of my notes. So it's just really, um, like 
really, really inconvenient and just like sad. I mean, you know, stuff gets stolen and like I never leave stuff in the trunk of my car, like never. And like this one time that I do, they still like everything that like my camera, my laptop, um, like a bunch of important stuff. Thank goodness they like threw out my passport and um, like the applications. They didn't touch those because I had those like um, underneath in a different compartment so they didn't see those and didn't take those which like thank goodness because you know like rental applications have people's like personal information on it so I am never going to Oakland again except I work there so I have to go to work there but I'm never going to <laughs> go there on my off time again um, I also got some work done on my teeth which I'm gonna post another video on that um, but yeah that is <laughs> that is kind of like the end of my day um, being kind of like a landlord and I'm going down today I found some renters so we're gonna sign the lease today and that's great and I'm getting everything in my Sacramento house fixed so that they can move in and um, we're just gonna like move on and like my windows in my car are smashed so I'm dealing with the insurance and like I don't have a garage parking spot so my car is just like out kind of parked behind a building uh, where I rent a parking spot and I'm just like hoping that no homeless people want to go in there and like take a nap or no one vandalizes my car more while I wait for the insurance company to uh, come out and <laughs> fix my car which I mean that just sucks too that I'm like, I don't have a place to park it. Like, I don't have a garage. It's just like out on the street. And they're like, oh, well, you know, it's Memorial Day weekend. So we can't really do anything until like next week. And I'm like, great. So hopefully I won't get any more um, surprises with my car. Um, and, you know, like I need my car to like drive places, especially since I'm getting my fixing it you know getting my house fixed and all this kind of stuff so it's just really inconvenient you know I have to borrow people's cars and um but you know it's I wasn't harmed you know no, my girlfriend wasn't harmed you know we were out to dinner so um I filed a police report but you know what are you gonna do because you know it's just stuff so we weren't injured just like more hassles that's like in my life on top of you know recovering from surgery and all that kind of stuff so I will um, talk to you guys soon and I hope you like this video kind of seeing what the day in life of a landlord is. Bye!